Mary Goggins, welcome to Coffee and CEOs. If you're very transparent in what you want out of your career and you tell your boss or somebody, I've found eight out of 10 times they hand it to you. Tell us about Encapsis. Um, it's, it's really intriguing technology and industry. And you guys have been around about 60 years or so, right? So can you give us a little background on Encapsis? Sure, well Encapsis started as a division of uh, Appion or Appleton Papers. Um, and the technology started with carbonless paper. And for those of you who don't know carbonless paper, it's the four part form. And when you write on it, you get an image on the uh, paper underneath and that's actually mm -hmm. capsules. Very simple, yeah. um, when you write, you break the capsules and the image is created on the other um, pages. Mm -hmm. And that goes, that's technology 60 years old, invented by Appleton scientists. Wow, um, I didn't know it was invented by them. Yeah, it was. Wow. And so, a lot of patents in that space, um, and it evolved into putting fragrance into the capsules probably about 10 years ago. And today, those fragrance capsules are used in uh, dryer sheets, mm -hmm. um, in many, uh, any laundry detergent you use that might have a fragrance in it. Those capsules could be sitting in your clothes today. Yeah. As part of Appleton, we were trying to grow and expand our market basis. Um, about two years ago, almost exactly two years ago, Appion sold the division off as a standalone company. Sure. Um, we added resources in the back, in the back room, so IT resources, payroll resources, all the things a division wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. um, in the first year, and in our second year, which is just finishing, now we're trying to become a well-run company. Okay. All at the same time of growing double-digit growth. Wow. There's a challenge. It's, it's so fun. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. So culture. Culture's really big conversation in, in right. a lot of manufacturing environments and all over the place today. Tell us about your culture. What, how would you describe your culture? Yeah, so um, when Encapsis spun off, it gave us a great opportunity to ask people, and there's only a hundred of us, um, what they liked about mm -hmm. the old culture, what they would do different, and what they would embrace. And, um, and we brought in an outside group to get people to really talk, and we found out two things, is our plant down in Portage and our headquarters had slightly different cultures. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we, we all want to do is have us more um, merge and act like one. Um, and that's gonna be a journey, because a plant's very different than headquarters. Um, and then second, surprisingly, from the interviews, most people, it was very consistent what they liked and didn't like. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really easy to dial in on what was important to people. Um, the the par hard part was finding five meaningful, succinct, way, you know, no more than five. Um, and succinct statements that captured it. The value statements? Yes. Yeah. We're very much of a Six Sigma lean culture, so we yep. use the Kaizen type of approach yep. to involve multiple people, um, to get groups and get input and get consensus on a few. So mm -hmm. it, was a, it was one all day session that got us to the key topics. Then that, that uh, consulting group went off and created the nice language around them. Mm -hmm. And we launched in year one, knowing it wouldn't be perfect. Yeah. And then in year two, we refined. And I think we're moving into year three and I, we're seeing no need to refine right now. How'd you roll it out when you rolled it out? How'd, how'd you get it out in front of people? You know, so you remember we're a small company. Yeah. So it wasn't a big ta-da, but um, it was in one of the quarterly meetings and everybody got a card and um, it's on the website and handouts. and. Um, it, the rollout isn't important as, as it is to talk about it every day. The reinforcement, yeah. Yeah, and so I kick off every quarterly meeting. I remember to talk about it, and, and I try to bring up examples of where I saw the value demonstrated. Mm -hmm. um, and the other bigger thing we did is we totally wiped out, um, we use it in our performance management. So the, the old leadership skills, the communication, and results orientation are gone, and there's just the five values. Okay. So your, your performance is against the five values, your roles and responsibilities, and your objectives. And take, so managers are having conversations about how those five values fit into their jobs every day and things how like that? How you do your job. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, excellent. So in your career, you've been, a, you've been um, up against a lot. You've had a lot of challenges in front of you. Um, it's not always easy for, for women in the, in the mm. manufacturing world. Yeah. What are some of the challenges you face kind of coming up through the ranks? I think I, the biggest thing is I have to earn my peers' respect. I don't start off with it mm -hmm. versus other men. Okay. Um, and, you know, I'm getting there, but I have to prove myself. Sure. 
what kind of advice would you would you give to some of the younger women today who want to get into management and leadership roles? Embrace uh, embrace other people's experiences and wisdom. You know, learn from others. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of transparency. Um, and I always say watch what you ask for because I think um, if you're very transparent in what you want out of your career and you tell your boss or somebody, I've found eight out of ten times they hand it to you. Sure. Um, sure. So don't sit around and be frustrated that, you, that no one's noticed how smart you are.